Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to design your own shoe and we're going to be doing this two different ways. So the first way is through Angela's shoe mock-up and the second way is just through Google Images and just Photoshop. So the only thing required for this is that you have Photoshop and have a version that has the magic wand tool. So the first thing we're going to do is come down to, I'm already there, but let's go to angelusdirect.com. And we're going to come over to the fact tab and go down to shoe mock-up. So here we have just a bunch of different shoes that um, would potentially be used for a custom. If you don't see a shoe here that you want to customize, don't worry because I'm going to show you guys a different method. So let's just click like a random, just lasers. And once you have this image, all you're going to do is just either right click or on a Mac press control click and just save image as and just save it to your desktop or something. Just anywhere you want to save it. I already have it, but I'm just going to replace it. And then we're going to minimize this. And then literally all you need to do is just come over to this image and double click. And it opens up in Photoshop. So here we have our image. And this is really, really cool because every section is kind of just already cut out for you. And all you're going to do is just select which sections you want to color and then obviously you know just come over here and color them. So what we're going to do is just select upper two and we're going to come over to our paintbrush tool. Just select that and then you're going to select a color. I just have red. Press OK and click on the section and that's it. And that's all you have to do. It's really 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 simple. So you can play around with it, um, get creative and do whatever you want with this. But yeah it's just really cool. You have all the sections cut out for you and it's just really really easy. So the second method I'm going to show you guys is, I'm going to exit out of this, don't save. The second method I'm going to show you guys is a little bit more complicated but it's really simple and it gives you a lot of freedom to play around with. So what we're going to do is come down to, let's just go to Google and let's go to Vans shoe coloring page. Images. And we're going to select one of these images. So the only reason I say coloring page is because it gives really, really defined lines. And it's just really easy for Photoshop to kind of know which sections you're talking about when you want to color them. And it's just really, really cool. So select any one of these images. And I already have an image, so I'm going to go back to Photoshop, and I'm going to go to File, Open, and let's do Vans Template. So here we have our Vans shoe. Just going to drag it out a little bit. And the first thing you're going to do is come over to this background layer, come over to this key, and just double click on it. Press OK, and now this layer is unlocked. It's free for us to play around with. We can do whatever we want on it. Just double click this, and maybe we can just name this Vans Shoe. OK, so we have our shoe, and we're going to come up to this tool. It's called the Magic Wand tool, so just make sure you have this on your Photoshop. If not, you can also have the Magnetic Lasso tool, but let's go back down to the Magic Wand tool. Just click it. Click which section you want to cut out, and you have this section, it's um, selected, so all you need to do now is just press delete. And let's go back up to this and just do this one, delete this. So we have our sections cut out, and basically what this means is that it's just translucent now, so if you put an image behind it, it'll show through. So I have just this babe camo picture, I'm just going to drag it on top. It's okay if it comes out this small. All you need to do is just drag it out and make sure you drag it over the part that you want. Come up here and press the check and you're probably like what the heck it didn't do anything. It's okay don't worry. We're gonna come back to our van shoe layer. Click on that and drag it on top and there we go. So it looks really really good 
but say you want to just add a solid color to one of the sections. So we're going to go back to our magic wand tool and let's just select this. And then we're going to come to our paint bucket tool. And we're going to come down here and we're going to select a color. So let's just do black. Press OK. And bam. That's it. <laughs> it's really easy, really simple. Um, so let's just do all the sections that we want to be black. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do the soft liner, make that black. And let's make this part black. There you go. For this part, let's go ahead and select this and maybe we can make this a nice red color. So press OK, and then make this red. So we have all our sections colored in. It looks really good so far. But say you want to draw something on there. Say you want to draw like a design, or you just, I don't know, you want to get really creative, and you just want to draw on there. So we're going to come over to our paintbrush tool and just click this. Let's say we want to draw like the babe teeth in here. Make this white. And you can come up here and maybe change the size, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You can change the opacity, which is basically just how much shows through. Um, so let's make this like 10 or something like that. And let's just go in and draw our teeth. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you guys understand what I'm going for. You know, the babe teeth, the red background, you know, you know. But say you want to match one of the colors in the babe camo. So what we're going to do is go to our magic wand tool. We're just going to select this layer. And then we're going to go over to our eyedropper tool. And let's say we want to match the green. So we just click on the green. You can see it just automatically matches the green. Then we click our paint bucket tool and bam. And it's the same color green, it's awesome, it's just really simple. But if you don't like this and you think this is really ugly and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna go back to what it was before, all you have to do is go down on your keyboard and click Command Z. And you'll go back one step. If you wanna go back multiple steps, then all you need to do is go down to your keyboard and press Option Command Z. So Command-Z is one step and Option-Command-Z is multiple steps. So now we have our shoe and it's looking really good. Pretty happy with this. I don't really want to do anything else to it. So all we have to do is just come up to File, Save As, and let's call this Vape Vans. And you have two options. One, you can save it as a Photoshop file, or two, you can just save it as a regular JPEG. So when you save it as a Photoshop file, you can double click it and bring it back into Photoshop and it'll come the way that you left it. It'll have all the layers and you can basically just edit it, maybe if you don't like it later or something. And as a JPEG, it's just gonna save as a normal picture. So let's go ahead and save it as a Photoshop file. Click OK. And then we're also gonna save it as a JPEG. So come down here and select JPEG click save, click OK, and then I'm just going to hide Photoshop. Actually, I'm going to exit out of this, and then I'm going to hide Photoshop. And we have our two images here. We have our Photoshop file and our JPEG file. So when you click on the Photoshop file, it'll bring it back into Photoshop, and it'll just leave it the way that you saved it. And you can always just come back and edit it if you don't like it later. It's pretty cool. And as a JPEG, it will just open as just any regular picture. So now that we have our shoe done, I'm going to show you guys how to do a more realistic looking image. So I'm just going to click out of this, and you can go back into Google and select, maybe let's do Air Force One Toe. So it'll give you a lot of images that are maybe like above or from different angles. With the coloring pages, it's a little tricky because you mostly only get like the side image or just 
not a lot of angles so this is the way to go if you want to do like the toe area or something like that so I already have an image saved I'm just gonna go back into Photoshop and I'm gonna click open and let's do Air Force One top so we have a really high quality image this isn't a coloring page and say we want to do our custom in this toe area so what we're going to do is what we did last time, we go to the background layer and come to the key, double click, press OK. We can maybe just name this Air Force One. And then what we're going to do this time that's different is instead of the magic wand tool, we're going to use the magnetic lasso tool. So if we use the magic wand tool, it's just going to select the whole shoe. Um, the reason that it does this is because the lines aren't really as defined as a coloring page and I feel like Photoshop just doesn't know which section you're talking about so it just kind of like tweaks out on you. But no worries. Um, let's just come up to the magnetic lasso tool and all we have to do is just click and connect the dots. And this is going to give you like a really accurate way of doing which section you want to do. So just keep going, keep connecting. And when you finish, you need to connect the dot to the first one that you started with. So when you click this one, it's going to give us our layer. And all we need to do is just press delete. So it's not fully accurate. Maybe if you guys have more time, then you guys can do a better job than I did. But let's go ahead and do the other one. And there we go, so we're just going to press delete. And there we go, so it's ready to add our image. So we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. We're going to click our picture, and we're going to drag it on top. And you can just put it there. Come up here and click the check. And then drag the Air Force One layer on top. And there we go. So if you want to move this and make this smaller or rotate it or anything, just come up to the arrow tool come down and select the vape camo layer and then it'll let you make it smaller or rotate and you can move it and do whatever you want with it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. That looks pretty good. And then come up and press the check. Press A to get rid of the outline. And there we have it. So we have our vape camo. It's in the section that we want. It looks pretty good. It's a realistic image and we also get a view from the top so we can see the toe box. So that's it. Hopefully this wasn't too difficult for you guys and hopefully it was really simple and easy and hopefully it'll make you guys want to go out and do your own custom and do your own designing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any different methods or if you guys know an easier way of doing this or anything like that. But thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting, and hopefully I'll have something new for you guys soon. So, see you guys!